So we got a couple good updates here. One about Hogwarts Legacy getting a showcase tomorrow, November 11th. And we're going to talk about that time and place. We're also going to be talking about The Last of Us Factions 2 multiplayer game that we have been waiting on for so long. We've got some more details about that and what's happening around that project. Now, before we get into that, if you could do me a huge favor, subscribe, like, share the video, helps the channel a ton, and I really appreciate it. Now, let's talk about the Hogwarts Legacy gameplay showcase that's going to take place tomorrow, which is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. GMT, and 10 a.m. PT. And this is going to be a showcase of Hogwarts Legacy and just Hogwarts Legacy, and it's going to be on their official YouTube channel. And basically, the new presentation will include a tour of Hogwarts and a first official look at the UI. So if you've been waiting on this game, this is going to be it. This is probably something you don't want to miss out on. Or if you can't make it, it's obviously going to be up later on as a video on YouTube. And we'll talk about it then as well as uh, what's been shown and what I personally think of it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the only update for Hogwarts Legacy. We'll talk more about it when that actually happens. But the last topic I want to talk to you about is The Last of Us multiplayer game. And they have recently hired the Fortnite Battle Pass designer. And while this may not seem like anything too crazy, it is a true sign of what they want to do with this game. Number one, it's going to be monetized in likely a Battle Pass fashion like most games are today. If you look at... Uh, Overwatch 2, which was a huge title that came for free, and they pretty much just monetized it through the Battle Pass. You can expect that likely they're going to do the same thing with The Last of Us multiplayer game. It's a games as a service type of title, so I feel like we kind of got to take that into consideration. I know some people seem to think that there's no way that this could be a free-to-play game, but I'm saying that this is going to be a free-to-play game. And not only do I think it's going to be a free-to-play game, I think it's going to launch day and day on PC because they have to. If you want your game to be successful, it's got to be easily available to everybody and it's got to be on multiple platforms. Obviously, they're not going to ship this on Nintendo or Xbox, but on PC where they already put their games, yeah, it makes perfect sense for them to do that. And the only way this game is going to be successful in an environment where there are so many live service games where there is so much competition in that space and a lot of it is free to play, they have no choice but to go free to play and monetize through a battle pass just like everyone else. And honestly, I'm quite all right with that as long as it doesn't impact, uh, let's say, the quality of your, your character. Like if all of a sudden you're just super powerful because you pay for stuff, I think that's not fair. But if it's a cosmetic thing, I think that's a more than okay, which I do think they're going to go that route. But yes, it looks like they're looking to have top-notch, you know, monetization in some some sense especially comparable to the battle pass that they did with fortnite which was not only praised for a while it changed the standard of how games are monetized the battle pass changed everything you guys got to remember that things were not done this way until fortnite came around and kind of even killed the loot box in a way so it's quite impressive that uh you know fortnite was able to create this kind of uh, meta in terms of how to monetize your games the best way possible and yeah, other games are adopting it. And I guess they wanted to pick up the guy who was a part of it. And here they have done that. And yeah, so you can expect that with The Last of Us multiplayer game. But I do also think it's important to remember that this is just speculation. I don't know for a fact that it's going to be free to play, but I'm just kind of observing what's happening in the industry and what I think uh, the studio is going to do to make their game as popular as possible and make it available as possible to everybody around them. Now, when are we going to see more of this game? I mean, all we really got is some concept art. Uh, 2023, Neil Druckmann has confirmed that, yes, in 2023, they are going to talk more about it. And I think we're going to get a full breakdown and blowout of information showing off the game as it's been in production for quite a while now. So I'm hoping that that doesn't take any longer than 2023. In fact, I hope it launches in 2023 because it's been quite a while. I mean, you can only take so long with something like this, even though... We're really patient with Naughty Dog because they put out a lot of amazing games. Like everything they put out is a classic. It seems to be an instant classic. So I'm hoping that that'll be the same case with this one. Uh, but yeah, I think 2023 will be the year that we do see uh, Factions 2 multiplayer. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. I mean, it's a quick video, quick update. Nothing really crazy happening right now in, in PlayStation news. But I want to let you know about those two things. Also wanted to let you know that God of War Ragnarok so far is incredible. I'm really enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I love the Yotnar edition. Open that up. Really cool hammer. 
I love it. It looks great. It's amazing. I can't wait to finish this game, but I won't talk about it until I am officially done all of it and I'll do it in a proper review, hopefully. Please let me know in the comments what you think of Hogwarts Legacy gameplay being shown tomorrow. Are you going to watch that? Are you excited for that? What do you think of the Factions 2 multiplayer? Do you think there's going to be some sort of battle pass? Do you think it's going to be free to play? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, like, share the video. You can follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. And if you want to support the channel a little bit further, you can always uh, become a member. It's $1.99 Canadian. Every dollar gets reinvested into the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.